We have to follow the money and we have to stop it. Monday, Vice President Kamala Harris announced the Department of Justice, Treasury and the State Department will be working with law enforcement in Guatemala to try and combat the flow of Central American migrants to the United States. We will look to root out corruption wherever it exists because we know it is not in the best interest of a democracy. Alongside Guatemalan President Alejandro Giamete, Harris announced efforts to root out corruption, create jobs, and stop smuggling schemes that have encouraged thousands to flee their homes. We can uh, turn this country into a country of opportunities. In April alone, U.S. Border Patrol stopped more than 178,000 immigrants traveling from the region, the highest total in more than two decades. This is a crisis that the Biden administration has created. Paris Denard with the Republican National Committee says the policies of the Biden-Harris administration are the actual root of the problem. Everything that they're doing as it relates to this border crisis has been wrong. And for 75 days, she has avoided going to the border. For 75 days, she has avoided having a press conference. The White House insists both the vice president and the president will ultimately make a trip to the southern border, but have not set a date. In the meantime, Harris says the U.S. has a clear message to those considering making the dangerous journey. Do not come 